How the heck are you, everybody? I'm Fastidious, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be discussing rate up banners in Watcher of Realms, specifically 10 times rate up banners. So 10x. 10x is a big thing in all gacha games, but particularly in Watcher of Realms, it has a big impact. So it's pretty important. However, based on the conversations I've been having lately in the comment sections of my YouTube videos, as well as on Discord, it's become pretty clear to me that many people, many of you, have a fundamental misunderstanding of how a 10x works. So in this video, I really wanna break that down. Moreover, a lot of people I think may understand how it works, but not realize how significantly it can increase the chance of getting a hero in this game, and also how significantly it can suppress the chance, suppress the likelihood of getting heroes of the same rarity class in this game. What the heck am I talking about? Let's hop in and find out. Fastidious. Fastidious. Okie dokie, let's kick off this discussion of 10x with a quick conversation about 2x. Might seem kind of backwards, however, it's going to introduce all the key points, all the key concepts we have to discuss in a simpler way, because fundamentally 2x is easier to understand than 10x. Now, why is that? Well, when you summon for a hero in Watcher of Realms, if you pull one of your summoning crystals, there will be two key moments of RNG applied to that summon, two key moments of random number generation. Essentially, that is the probabilities in the game, the rates in the game being applied to the instance of your summon, determining what hero you're gonna get. So what are those two moments? Well, the first moment is gonna be when the game determines what hero rarity class you are gonna get. So let's break that down right now. So in this game, we have rarity classes for heroes, right? Very typical of a gotcha. We've got our legendary lords, our legendaries, epic lords, epics, rare lords, rares, and uncommons. We also have commons, but those cannot be summoned. If we look at these percentages next to each rarity class, this signifies the probability that if you pull a summon, that's the probability you will get a hero from that rarity class. So this represents our first instance of random number generation. Based off of these probabilities you see here, the game is going to make a roll and determine which rarity class you were lucky enough or unlucky enough to get that pull from, right? However, there will be a second roll, and that second roll will determine which hero you actually get. So now the distinction between a 2x and a 10x and what people need to understand. The 2x applies to this first roll, this first instance of RNG. The 2x is directly applied to the entire rarity class. So you can see 2x rate up on legendary heroes. Normally for a legendary lore to be 0.04% chance, and then for a normal legendary would be 0.46% chance. Those have now doubled, right? So now it's 0.08% chance and 0.92% chance. This stuff seems super obvious because it kind of is. However, something we're already gonna take note of, normally when there is no 2X on legendaries, there's no 2X in general on an entire, entire rarity class, the uncommon rarity class is at 50%. You have a 50-50 chance of getting an uncommon. This rate has now been suppressed to 49.5% chance. That is something you wanna keep in mind as we go into our discussion of 10X. So in a 10X, the rate up applies not to the first instance of RNG when the hero rarity class is determined, but the second instance when that actual hero is determined. So for this next part, I wanna focus on the Morrigan 10X we had two ancient banners ago and use that as a case study. Now, here's a blurb from that 10X that explains things pretty well. In special ancient summoning, the drop rates of the falling heroes are 10 times the original rates, and, and this is the important part, the total drop rates of heroes within the same rarity remain the same. So there you go, clear as day. The rate up does not apply to the first roll, but the second one. The rate for the rarity class is the same. The rate up is applying to the rate of the specific hero. So let's make things a little less abstract. This here shows the legendary Lord rarity class hero pool at the time of that 10X. As you can see, our eight Lords plus, of course, Ajax. It will be slightly different this weekend, as we will get into later, because we're having the introduction of Elder. So there's another member of the hero pool. It's getting slightly diluted. But you can see there's a 0.8% chance during Ancient Summoning to get one of these heroes from this rarity class pool. So the 10X with Morrigan did not apply to the actual 0.8% drop rate. It is, all right, you've hit that. You've hit that 0.8% chance. Now what's the chance you are going to get that hero? Okay, so now knowing our hero pool for this rarity class, we got to see what the normal rates would look like without 10X to see the crazy power of the 10X when you have such a limited hero pool among a rarity class. So here you go. These are our nine lords or eight lords plus Ajax. And you can see it's just 100% divided by but divided by nine. Uh, of course, we're assuming you've already rolled the legendary lord. Now, what's the chance you're going to get any hero? Well, it's an even distribution. We are going to assume an even distribution 
which of course is a slightly crazy thing to do in this game, but for the sake of this exercise, we are going to do that. You can see 11.11% .11 chance to get all of them. So I mentioned before, when you apply the 10X, the rate of the 10X hero is gonna skyrocket, but also the rate of the other hero is going to be suppressed. So what does that look like? Let's show you right now. That blue, that over 50% blue, that is going to be Morgan. So now why is that? Well, before we had a hero pool of nine heroes, right? The way to think of the 10X is just think as if there was 10 times as much Morrigan as there were before. So essentially we're throwing nine more instances of Morrigan into the pool. So instead of each hero having a one out of nine chance, each hero is having a one out of 19 chance because we threw in more, nine more copies of Morrigan to make sure there were 10 of her, 10 times one. Uh, and then there's gonna be 10 out of 18 of Morrigan. And those are the numbers you are seeing here. So teeny tiny numbers, they went down to what? 5.56 for the other eight, and then way up over 50% for Morrigan. Now, if you really want things to get wacky, what's gonna happen this weekend when we have two 10X Lords in this tiny little pool? Let's see. All right, let's start things off a bit calmly again. This is a hypothetical, what this weekend would look like if there was no 10X on any Lords, on any heroes from the Legendary Lord Rarity class. Worth pointing out, it's now a 10% chance, not an 11.11% .11 chance. That is because there's now nine members of this hero pool. We're getting a new addition into the Legendary Lord Rarity class, right? That is gonna be the new Northerner Lord Elder. However, this is obviously not the case. This is not what we're gonna see this weekend because we have a 10X not just on one member of this group, but two, Gon and Leia. So how wacky to back is this gonna look? Let me show you right now. This is what it's all about, guys, and this is the point I wanted to make, all right? So as you can see here, the chance to get Gon or Leia is 35.7%, very, very high. However, that, that that's showing you, as I mentioned in the beginning, there's a significant and sometimes underratedly significant increase that the 10X brings to the heroes that are highlighted. However, look at that suppression of the rates, the decrease in chance to get the other Lords. So it goes all the way down to 3.57%. So this is where the decision comes. This is why so many content creators are telling you guys, maybe this is a time to hold off. Let's take a quick step back and use that pizza pie analogy again. Everyone had their own slice, right? So this is what it looked like without the 10X. Everyone gets one slice. There are 10 heroes, there are 10 slices. However, now Gon needs 10 slices of his own and Leia needs 10 slices of her own. So they each get nine more slices. So now the chances for everyone that isn't Gon or Leia to be summoned is no longer one out of 10, but one out of 28, because it's 10 plus nine from Gon, nine from, Le from Leia. And likewise, the chance of getting Gon or Leia is not gonna be one out of 10, but instead it's gonna be 10 out of 28. And that's how you get these crazy, crazy numbers. So as you can see, the only way that those percentages for Leia and Gon uh, go up is by increasing that denominator and decreasing the chance of getting any of the other Lords. So if you're not in love with Gon or Leia, you're definitely hurting yourself by going for this banner because you may get really lucky, hit that 0.8% chance and get that legendary Lord or Ajax so someone from the legendary Lord rarity class, but it's super, super likely over 70% chance, over 71% chance it's going to be Gon or Leia. So you have to be fully prepared, not just to be okay with getting them, but you should be seeking them out. Because if you're like me, and maybe you want a Venoma or a Twin Fiend or Elder now that he's joining the pool, they've got these teeny tiny chances. Not only do you have to hit on the 0.8% chance to just get this rarity class in general, but then on top of that, you have to hit on that 3% chance. So it's multiplicative. It's, it's a teeny, teeny, tiny percent chance it's gonna happen for you. If you do get lucky enough to hit, it is supremely likely, almost a three in four chance that you're gonna get Leia or Gone. So when you seek out these 10 Xs, it's really important that those 10 X heroes are who you really want. The reason I think it's interesting to make this whole point, to make this whole video, around the legendary Lord Rarity class is because it's such a small hero pool. As this pool gets diluted, these numbers are gonna go down. Let me show you that right now. So here's the final hypothetical just to wrap things up. Let's say Soul Cadence was already getting added to the normal ancient hero summoning pool this weekend. Well, then we'd have 11, right? 11 heroes. The previous 10 now adding Soul Cadence. So now instead of having, we start off at 11.11, .11, right? When we didn't have Elder, then we added Elder and then it was 10%. Now we're down to 9.0. 9% and this is without a 10x. So in general, the rates of getting each have gone down. Not the rates of getting a legendary lord have gone down, they remain at 0.8%. However, the rates of getting a specific hero have gone down just by the simple fact that there are more heroes in that summoning pool. Now, if we show this, you can see all the rates continue to go down. So these rates across the board will get suppressed just less and less and less 
as you add more heroes. So you can see they're lower at, what is that, 3.45% for anyone but Leia and Gon. However, relatively, by adding one more hero, not that much lower. They will eventually slowly even out. They will just go down by a smaller and smaller amount. As you can see here, Leia and Gon also went down by a more significant amount. That's because they had more slices of the pie, right? So now they're under 34.5%, so it's gonna be just under 69% to get one or the other of those two. So when you have such a small hero pool, you really are targeting, right? So if you're seeking out, if you have something like Ancient Summonings, Summoning Crystals, they are so, so hard to get. You should really wait for the right Ancient Summoning event so you can target. Because this pool is going to stay super, super small for a super long time. So are you guaranteed that, let's say you did love this 10x and you did want Gone, are you guaranteed you're going to get him? No, but you've got a way, 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 way better chance than you would otherwise. Like in this hypothetical, if we take this away, look at that. You went from a 9.09% .09 chance to a 34 point, almost 34 and a half percent chance. So to wrap it up, let's just throw up our picture over here. Uh, so you guys can see, oh my God, where is it? There you go. So this is what we're looking at this weekend, guys. Good luck, but I hope this at least, if not changes people's minds, opens up, opens up people's eyes to how significantly the 10X is going to impact this. Granted, I want to say it again, I did assume even rates, which is a crazy thing to do in this game, but it is what it is. When it comes to math, you've got to assume sometimes. Anyway, I've been fastidious. Before I sign off, I have to give a huge, huge thank you to King PM from Discord. He helped me create all of these pie charts. You guys know I'm not the most techie guy in the world, so I so appreciate him for helping me out with that. Guys, I'm off to stream. This has been so freaking hard to film. Oh my God. Like it if you want, comment, mother, all that good stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Fast idiots.